situation and we're going to try to make it as fun as possible. So Tate's going to take over and he's going to explain the difference between AC and DC coupled and what batteries co-mingle well together and how they work. Just so you know, this is a very popular question in the industry right now. You're going to probably hear this. AC coupled versus DC coupled. Who wins? They both have their pluses and their minuses, but the idea is let's start out with the easiest one, which we sell three batteries here in phase Tesla and Solar Edge. So our DC coupled system is gonna be the Solar Edge. Now, what that means is a DC coupled system is a DC panel that goes to a DC battery. So no conversion here. It goes directly off the roof, straight into the battery. Then it only converts one time from DC from the battery to AC so you can use it in your house. So real simple, absolutely the simplest system out there. Now this is where it gets confusing and where it slows down the process and makes it a little less efficient. When we get into eight, uh, to the in-phase and Tesla systems, this is what they're talking about. It is a DC panel on the roof, then it gets converted to AC in the inverter, then it goes over to the battery in AC, switched to DC, and then to use it, you have to come out of the battery in DC, convert it into AC so you can use it in the house. So Tate, I have a question. Sure. If I'm looking at this right now, why would I even look for Enphase and Tesla? I mean, it seems like Solar Edge is the perfect situation. Is there a situation where you would use Enphase and Tesla in a... Absolutely, okay. So I want, I want to explain that, guys, real quick. So because this conversion, like you just saw, it seems like this is taking a lot more. It is a yeah. little slower and less efficient. So why would I pick a Solar Edge battery? Solar Edge batteries? They're gonna be faster charging. So for a consumption system, they're gonna be really good. They're also really good in shaded areas because they're optimized systems. So we're gonna get a real good idea there on those two items. When we get into in-phase, why would I pick an in-phase over a solar edge? Chopped up roofs. So you let's mean say- like on a two-story house where they have to put it in a bunch multiple of different- Multiple different, different positions. Oh, okay, so, so I have to put panels You know, I've room. got I've got panels on the north side, I've got panels on the south side, I've got panels on the east side, and panel or, Panels on the west side, panels on the east side. Okay, that makes sense. You know, does that make sense? Yeah. So that, this system, because each individual panel works independently, it works very well for that. Okay. Now, that if sense. we're doing Solar Edge, we want to make sure they're in blocks. So at least six or seven panels. Gotcha. Okay. That works best for them. So if we have like twos and threes, you know, in phase, definitely possible. Now, the other option we have here is also they do their batteries instead of tens. So Solar Edge does theirs in tens. Gotcha. So 10, 10 20, 20, 30. 30. Okay. These guys do in fives, which could be profitable for if you've watched our video on how to size a battery for consumption. So like when we were looking at that 13 kW on our equation, yeah, we might be real close to a 5K versus, or a 15K versus Instead of a 20. 20. Okay, that makes sense. And so that might be profitable for your customer there, kind of getting them that precise measurement. So they do their batteries in five, 10, and 15. So a little, little more modularity, or modular, Modu never modular, said that right. Modular, right. Yeah. And then we get into what happens if, Todd, you already have a battery. Right yeah, that's like an old or one. Or you already have a solar system on it. And it's super old, too. Super old. Or it's maybe like you, have, you have a, uh, maybe you've got a couple systems on your house. That's even worse. Oh, yeah, I didn't even think about so that. So I know you're the king of the add-on system. Add-on system. So two a lot systems. Of, a lot of my clients have two different systems. They have an older system, and then I add a second system. And so, they want to, and maybe it's changed in their area, in their particular jurisdiction that they now need to be able to use arbitrage or some way to use the battery. Okay. And that part, Tesla works really well because it will work with a solar edge system, it will work with an in-phase system, it will work with a Feronius system, or let's say some of the other systems, some of the, the sun, uh, solar city systems, or all the other different systems okay. out there. If it was made, if they have an inverter that was made in the last 10 to 15 years, almost guaranteed Tesla can be the battery solution for them. And especially if they have multiple systems, that really does. And we don't have to tear all the panels off the roof and replace them. So all. this is really good for if I've already got a system in, I need battery. This is an option. Absolutely. But if I'm starting, I have a lot. If I'm starting from scratch, I have a lot more options. You have, you have a lot more okay. options. That makes sense. And I would, I would, you know, move towards fast charging. Unless I have maybe a, a situation where I have a really chopped up roof with all different kinds of 
twos and threes each. Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, I hope this helps, guys. Remember, these are short videos that are very, you know, they're not meant to be really in depth. So you're gonna have to ask your questions. Ask your questions. We want to hear those so we can answer those and help you guys sell and continue to help your customers succeed in this uh, new age. And that's Todd Tate signing off.